This is Matt from AppWorks, and today we have a demo of a feature in FileMaker called Add-on Table. This came a couple of versions ago, and it's pretty interesting. So let's say you have a basic database like this one where you're just starting out, and all you really have is just a table of companies with company name, address, and you know you want some other things to link to this. You're not really sure how to build the relationships, so you want like a person table, and you want to be able to assign people to multiple different companies. Maybe you want a notes add-on, you want some phone numbers, things like that. You could, of course, just go to the Tables tab and start adding tables and putting fields in. But FileMaker, FileMaker makes this quite easy for you with this feature. So if you go to Layout Mode and use the Portal tool, you can just uh, drag a new portal on your layout. And one of the choices that comes up here is New Add-on Table. If I choose that, it gives me a list of several pre-built ones. And I'm going to choose People, which is one of the things I know I want to add. Click that and click Choose. Give it whatever name that I want, and I'm just going to keep it as People. And then one little click like that, um, I've added a, uh, actually like a whole module to my existing database. So first of all, let's take a look and see what the feature does. So if I go to this record, I get a little plus button down here. And I can add a new person like John Smith and click Add. And now John Smith is linked to that record. I can edit it. I can put an email address and things like that. If I go to another record in my database and I click Add a New Person, it knows that I have other people in my database. And with one click, I can link John Smith to this company too. Um, or I can click Plus and add a new person to my database, uh, Mary Jones, for example. And then I can just keep adding other ones. Uh, and then as they're added, they're, they're, they go to the database and they become linkable to other uh, records. So now I can see all of my people in my database quickly there. I can search on them. So in addition to that, um, I also get layouts that just appear. So I have a, a, a person list layout. And I can list all my people, sort them different ways. I can uh, also, I have a detail layout for all my people. And it, it brings in information like photo uh, and then other, other data. And if I take a look at the graph, if I go to Manage Database, we started out here a minute ago. Um, I only had one table. Now I have three. And they're correctly linked. So it actually links my company to the assignment of the person and then to the person. So all that, and I, I didn't have to do any of that work or any of that thinking or planning. It's pretty cool. And all the buttons for all those new modules just kind of work and are connected. OK, how about if I wanted to add something else? So let's say I maybe want to have a tab tool here, and I want to put, um, in addition to my uh, company or my, pe my people that I just added, um, I want to add one for contacts. So I'll make a tab for that. I'll move my um, portal in here for people. I think I'll have that button be on the top. Kind of makes more sense to me here. And if I want to add my contacts, I'll just use that same exact tool for make a new table. This time I'll say add on table again and put notes. You know, I think I called that contacts, and I meant to call that notes, because notes is what I want to do. Um, call that notes. It does the exact same thing we saw before. Uh, let me rename my tab while I'm thinking about it. And I have a new notes tab. Uh, you can move this button around, uh, move the portal around, make it considerably wider. I can change the styles so it comes up with the styles that I can see and I can use you know, any one of the styles to make it look like I want for my theme if I've already got a theme on my layout. Um, and now if I want to use that function, I just click plus note and it has a different behavior on this one because notes have a lot less things going on than adding a person. Type my note, and there's my note, and it automatically makes a line for a second one. So I can either just start typing down here, um, or I can use my plus button to make a new line. And those all work with my 
uh, with each record. So if I go back to my graph, I'll notice that just like before, I, it's added me uh, a table occurrence. It's added the table. Inside the table are all the fields that I care about, primary key, foreign key, um, and modification, and then the text of the note itself. So it's very, very easy to use and is pretty minimal. And then um, also the scripts that come along with it that are usable for creating records and linking around records go into a folder. So it creates one folder for each of my two new add-on tables that I added. It's a feature that we sometimes forget about in FileMaker, this new add-on table, but it's a very useful thing. And I hope you have fun with it. Thanks.